July 28th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Galatians chapter 1 from the New Testament. From Paul, an apostle, not from men, nor by human agency, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers with me to the churches of Galatia, grace and peace to you from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from this present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you by the grace of Christ and are following a different gospel. Not that there really is another gospel, but that there are some who are disturbing you and wanting to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be condemned to hell. As we have said before, and now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to what you received, let him be condemned to hell. Am I now trying to gain the approval of people or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preached is not of human origin, for I did not receive it or learn it from any human source. Instead, I received it by a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I was savagely persecuting the church of God and trying to destroy it. I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries in my nation and was extremely zealous for the traditions of my ancestors. But when the one who set me apart from birth and called me by his grace was pleased to reveal his son in me so that I could preach him among the Gentiles, I did not go to ask advice from any human being, nor did I go to Jerusalem to see those who were apostles before me. But right away I departed to Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and get information from him and I stayed with him fifteen days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. I assure you that before God, I am not lying about what I am writing to you. Afterward, I went to the regions of Syria and Cilicia, but I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They were only hearing, the one who once persecuted us is now proclaiming the good news of the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorified God because of me. God, I love how feisty Paul is. (laughs) This beginning is a little bit different than his usual letters. There's no thanksgiving. There's no faith, hope, and love. Um, There is praise and honor and glory to you, definitely. But right after that, he launches into, What in the world do you think you are doing? And I love this letter because this urgency and this intention and this focus that he has on on how important this issue is. He even repeats it twice, that if people are teaching you a different gospel, even though there's not another gospel, but a different version of the gospel that I have told you, they are condemned to hell. Let me say it again. (laughs) If there is a different gospel that you are believing, that person will be condemned to hell. That's how serious this is. And God, I think it's how serious we need to be about talking about the gospel to other people and to our our fellow Christians. I don't take your word lightly. I'm very serious about it. And I'm, I try and be incredibly careful about what I say and don't say... Um, what I know and what I need to learn, um, who I listen to. You know, it was interesting. I was in the bookstore the other day in the Christian section and there's so many books there and there's so many people who shouldn't be writing about Christianity and yet they're just there on the bookshelf for somebody to take off the shelf and read and be completely on the wrong path. And, And I know it's very clear. You make it very clear in the Bible how you feel about these people who send people down the wrong path of righteousness, down the wrong path of belief, um, teach anything different than what you have taught us in the Bible. 
I know you make that very clear, but here we see Paul making it very clear that even the normal graciousness of Paul isn't even included in this letter because of this urgency. And God, without a doubt, since you put this letter in the Bible, you made sure that it was included. We should have that same urgency as Paul did. That same intention to be really clear cut that there is one gospel. Now, there is a lot of secondary doctrines. Interestingly enough, I've spent the last couple of weeks talking about those two people. <laughs> but there's one primary gospel. And it's something that if we are going to be Christians, if we're going to be followers of you, Christ, then we have to agree on this. And yet, there's so many preachers and pastors out there, uh, some of them of mega churches, providing a different gospel. There's religions that people think are Christian out there, and they're not. If you listen to their gospel, um, I can think of a couple mainstream ones where they teach it's only by works that you are saved. Are you joking me? Then why did your son, Jesus, die on the cross for all our sins if it's, if it's our choice whether we're saved or not? By how hard we work here on earth. Craziness. Anyways, God, I just ask and I just pray today that everyone who's listening take this seriously. Understand how seriously you took it. How seriously your servant Paul took this. That this is something that we should not take lightly. That we should not fear men in this at all. Now we shouldn't fear men in anything but this specifically. And we should be black and white about what we truly believe in. And if we're kind of squishy about what we believe in with the gospel, then we need to go back to you and we need to go back to your word. And we need to learn what it actually says. And we need to decide if that's something we're going to believe or not. Because we've got to be really careful about what Paul says. That if we're saying something different, if we're telling other pre people in essence, preaching to other people, letting them believe a different type of gospel. Paul's really clear. Let him be condemned to death. Let him be condemned to hell. Let God have his way with you. God, allow us all to take your word very seriously. Understanding that with reverence and holiness and sovereignty, that you have allowed us to read your word and you also allow us to go out and share it with people. Let us take that opportunity and honor as seriously as you have called us to do so. Paul got it. Let us understand it too, God. In your son's name I pray. Amen. <laughs>